Ross Merriam, Ross Merriam, Ross Merriam. This is Ross Merriam's Phoenix Licks list, and we're going to play it because we're practicing for the Pro Tour and uh, also SG Philadelphia this weekend. And nothing too crazy here. Oh my god, these mismatch ops. Everything's falling apart this morning. Everything's falling apart. And um, nothing too crazy here. Um, just pretty, pretty stock looking Phoenix list. Um, no more main deck surgicals because Hogak is no longer a thing, and Gutshot is back in vogue. Um, Magmatic Sinkhole is really good. Ross is trying out one Prismatic Vista over a Polluted Delta. It's a little interesting. But all in all, pretty, uh, pretty simple. Pretty simple. And um, yeah, we're just playing, playing some Phoenix. We're just playing out a few of the uh, bigger decks in the format, as I've been saying. Kind of been getting my feet wet and modern again, having played a lot of Standard recently. And um, I leave for the Pro Tour in less than a week. So, who day, four month resub, just battle. More about the gameplay today than the uh, than the actual decks themselves. Modern challenge, not playing that. Yes, still still one Crackling Drake. I also like Crackling Drake. I'm a fan. Two Aria Flame. This card's pretty wild. If you haven't played, seen this card played before. Um, Despite the fact that it gains your opponent 10 life, it does kill them pretty quick. It does kill them pretty quickly. So, let's go. Battle time. Thoughts on blue-eye control? I have thought blue-eye control has basically always been bad. It's not bad. It's just not good. Um, I think you are putting a lot of undue pressure on yourself, and you are not playing a deck that's powerful at all by playing blue-eye control. just don't think the deck is good. Um... All right, same place. Um, Nox Survival is not good unless you're playing uh, Pyromancer's Ascension. All right, um, kind of a fan of fetching basics. Ready at the mountain. We we're definitely casting Serum Vision. We could we could cast Thought Scour and save Serum Visions until so we know what we're playing against. Make it a little easier on us to decide what we want to scry. I think we're going to do that. Let's play Scaldentar and Sega. Yeah, you want to do something powerful and modern. Like, this deck is a, a fundamentally a fair deck, but it's also, like, has some busted starts. A thing in the ice like and your stuff deck like that. Tech on whenever is good. Casual player just looking to make this deck more consistent at doing what it wants to do. Thanks. Sweet. Uh, Drill Boss, deck, deck Tech. I'll do it after this league, my friend. Uh, unfortunately, we just started, but. I'll be happy to do that for you. Welcome. All right, Swamp Nile Spellbomb. Interesting. Um, we'll get our steam vents. Give ourselves the old Thought Scour. Finale Island. It's not ideal, but and eluding. All right. Um, it's kind of annoying because black decks can. Uh, can tag thing in the ice pretty easily with beetle push and stuff like that. So they have our graveyard kind of covered, and we have our thing kind of covered probably. But yeah, crackling Drake, we got some grind here. We can roll. Thanks for following, my friends. If you haven't followed that follow button, of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome. Iceland. Um. Huh. All right. I mean, we're definitely casting Serum Visions. Question is, are we casting it off of Island? Here's something by the Island to cast it. Yeah. We'll start there. I nine months sub baby Clarence. Nine months sub baby Clarence is the name. His real name is Clarence. Thanks, I appreciate the resub. Welcome back. Uh, Tarn Phoenix Delta. Okay, um, I don't mind the Phoenix. We can hard cast it next turn. We have a looting, like they obviously have. They obviously have the spell bomb, but we can like do other stuff in the meantime. Um, we're probably just playing Crackling Drake next turn anyway. Melvin. I'm gonna keep this on top, and then we'll just like go here. Not really in a huge rush.
Right, Phoenix is a fair deck that has that can do unfair things too, which is usually where you want to be. All right, so I think thinking the ice is dead here. Um, abrupt decay. Lame. Uh, definitely lame. Love the eight mile reference. What's up, pretty lights fam? Eight or sixteen month resub. Welcome back. That's awesome. Awesome. All right, so I think we just ship Phoenix here. Um, they're at seventeen. They have much cards in their hand. They want to use a kill spell on my Phoenix and then make it go away. It's fine by me. I'm not going to expose my my Crackling Drake just yet. Obviously, main deck spell bomb is a little annoying, but... Sure. Obviously, trading a bolt for a Phoenix is fine. Uh, a little scary, you know, this is vulnerable to Liliana of the Veil. But... Man, they really don't like graveyards. Alright, so they're going to make this thing into a very large creature very fast. Alright, I mean, pretty hateful here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, look like, looks like we're on Crackling Drake and a prayer here. Alright, shift the Crackling Drake. I guess Arya of Flame could also do some work for us. Sure. <clears throat> So this game has gone basically perfectly for them. They have good graveyard hate, good removal. They were able to play ooze, make it a 4-4 immediately. Um, a lot of good stuff happening for them. So they, this might be a revolt to kill our Crackling Drake, which would obviously suck also. Um, Peterland. Dark Confidant? In this economy? Wow. That's pretty wild. Dark, Dark Confidant mostly fallen by the wayside for Ren and Six. Thinger in the Icy. Okay. Um, we're definitely casting some spells here. We're definitely going to kill this Star Confidant. Probably cast this Opt. So let's just start casting spells because that's what we want to do. We're a spell deck, you see. Thought Scour. Not super interested in that, given that they have a Scavenging Ooze in play. Not really interested in Delta either, but... Hmm. Bolt this Bobby here. They take 5 and go to 11. It's pretty good. Thing in the Ice is also some nice insurance against... Um, Liliana of the Veil as a way to kill the uh, a way to kill the crackling Drake. Um, you know, they have, they have Lightning Bolt, Abrupt Decay, these cards can't kill Drake, which is pretty good, so. Oh, my chat box isn't there. Sorry. We're a little off kilter here. Season Pyromancer. Discarding Hex Drinker and Thought Seize and making two tokens. So they are fishing for an answer for Crackling Drake, or they are dead next turn. I would like it if they were dead next turn. Thanks for following everyone. Yeah, they're, they're super dead. Super dead. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You are dead. I hate to tell you, but you are dead. Oh, that's annoying. Should have uh, checked my, check my basics there. I did not do that. Arc Light Phoenix, it's the man. Upstairs. That's pretty cool. Opponent uh, had basically everything on every street. We still beat them pretty easily. Crackling Drake is great. I'm a big Crackling Drake fan. I know that card's fallen out of favor, but. I do like me some Crackling Drake. Alright, so... Juned. How do you wish to fight the Juned Menace here? Um, explosives is fine. Sinkhole's fine. Uh, Sahili seems pretty great, actually. Um, don't think I want Narset. want this extra Sinkhole. Plenty of Flame Slash, too. I like that. 
Uh, gut shot's gotta go. And I don't think we want Blood Moon. We'll see how they fetch in game two. We're also on the drew on the on the on the draw. The so Garage! on the play, Blood Moon's a lot better. So we can see how they fetch and we can go go from there. Um Need to cut one more card. Looking to cut cards that aren't very impactful. Um, Hi. Yeah. Don't really want all of these, like bolts and flame slashes and stuff. Lava dart versus gut shot. I think gut shot's a lot better. Having some number of Phyrexian spells is very important. Uh, now, Explosive is important. Explosive kills Renin 6, it kills Tarmogoyf, and it kills uh, Scavenging Ooze. All cards that can be hard to kill. Trimming Finale. Finale is a really good card advantage card. I want to cut one of the one of the kill spells. I'm going to cut um, I'm going to cut a Flame Slash. Yeah. I like that. Let's try this. Sunny D, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. All right. Got our crackman Drake, which is pretty great. Obviously, it's vulnerable to thought seize, but we can keep this. I think there's also an argument to cutting, like, shaving like one looting in these matchups that are really, really fair. Where you really don't want to be um, casting too many lootings because you're down against cards. Yeah, Finale seems pretty good. It's obviously bad against Graveyard 8, but nice overgrown tomb. Just ain't doing stuff. Cut thing in the ice? No. I don't think you can, I don't think you can cut a threat. Opt for Serum Missions. Sure. That's a lot of words, Union. Um, I'll try and read that in a minute. News up is Nate from Alabama. Happy to show some love. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it. Um, I don't even know if we cast anything in the ice here. Like we're casting it into Liliana. We're casting it into a kill spell. They obviously have nothing else. I think we're just gonna chill. Um, the issue is we want to cast Thought Scour before we cast Serum Visions. So. I guess we'll just do that, sure. Let's thoughts get ourselves. Another thing in the ice. We hit a Phoenix, that's cool. Still gonna visions. Metamorphose and another Phoenix. Yeah. So we're gonna put uh the Metamorphose on top. The Phoenix one down. So if something bad happens where our they play like a graveyard hate thing or something, we can just shuffle it away. If not, we can just keep it and Probably do that next turn. Do nothing, Jund. No, your situation. No Russian version of Charles the Void's not bad situation. Union, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Union, that, that's a, that's a weird situation. Scavenging ooze, rude, super rude. First match. All right. I mean, we can get back at Phoenix this turn. Um, it sucks we can't play like thing in the ice before we do our stuff. 
Um, we have a Phoenix on top of our deck. We have a Metamorphos um, ready to roll. I mean, yes, yeah, so we get to sinkhole the Scavenging Ooze. We could just drop Bolt, too. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, I'll just start with the Metamorphos and go from there. I'm going to do Red Red because we're casting Sinkhole and Bathos Looting. Metamorphose on the stack. Any responses tapped out upon it? No? Okay. There's your Arclight Phoenix, which you knew we knew was there from a scry. Looting. Okay. Discard Arclight Phoenix. And I kinda like just pitching a, a scalding tarn here. We are all gassed up, which is great. And we're going to be playing a longer game anyway, so our cards are important. Yeah. And then we get to Sinkhole. We're still floating a red. Hold on, hold on, hold on, timeout. Um, do we think in the ice then? So we could, um, we could, wait, why is the chat not show game log? There we go. Sorry. I have... So I play the land, so I have two... I only have two mana total. See, so yeah, I can sinkhole. And then, like, opt. I don't even need to opt, though. I can just sinkhole. See, so yeah, I'll pitch the land. Pitch land, arc light. Then we're gonna... So we've cast... Metamorphos, looting, and now sinkhole, getting rid of steam vents, scalding tarn, metamorphos, thought scour, opt. We're leaving Phoenix, serum visions. Yeah. So we have uh, one sorcerer in the graveyard, we have one instant right here, we draw finale. We kill that, and we get back our, our Phoenix. And we'll leave up opt. We might not cast it. Um, what's up, Mercat? All right, so this is fine. Uh, our origin PC is sitting right there. I haven't opened it yet because I don't have time. Because I have to leave to fill it. I have to. I'm going to Philadelphia tomorrow, and then when I get home, I go straight to Barcelona. So I'm probably gonna wait till after I get home to uh, unpack it. But um. There she is. So. Origin PCs. Check them out. Sacrifice creature. You got it. Alright. Five cards in hand. Um, do you want to cast Opt? I think we do. I think we do. New monitors. New PC. New keyboard. New new everything. I gotta get a new mic though. Um, that's like the last thing I haven't figured out yet. Alright. Cast Opt's key. Bottom that. Finale, hello. Explosive, sure. So this is a pretty easy uh, finale for Opt and Serum Visions. Draw two cards, get back Phoenix, good value, good board presence, or good good board effect. Love it, you love to see it. Aria Flame is very, very good. It's a, a very good alternate way to win the game, which is fantastic. Um, we want to see your then opt. So opt is first. So you get more use out of our scry. Metamorphose. It's hard to say no to metamorphose. And then seer visions draws a land. Bottom that, top phoenix. Wait. They have surgical extraction too? Jeez. Who are these people? Alright. This is going to be embarrassing when we, when we beat them.
How do you beat Were as Phoenix? I don't know. I haven't played Phoenix in a bit, so we're uh, it's our first match in a while. The Sure SM7B. I prefer to get a USB microphone to not not have to deal with it with an interface, but I haven't looked into that yet. It requires a little more research. All right. Well, now our ArcLight Phoenixes are gone, um, which is fine, I suppose. I think we play a land here. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to discard this Liliana. Maybe I should have not played the land. Maybe that was dumb, actually. I could have just pitched the land. Now we're playing Tron later today. Discard a lightning bolt. They still have four cards in hand. That's a little sketch. Just guess the Healy's good. I haven't played it in a while, but it's wish I had more time, you know. Time is always the enemy. That sucks. Alright, so I'm just gonna play two things here and say go. And if they can kill both of them, then hopefully they can't kill Rockway Drake, I guess. With mana more, with two mana morphos available, it's possible we can flip these next turn. So flip at least one of these. No blue white for me. I don't, I don't like that deck. I think blue white control sucks. Uh, the phoenix was exiled to the uh, the surgical extraction. There are no phoenixes left. Thanks, Marty. Big bad Tarmogoyf. This game's been kind of gross. Um, not quite. Okay. Oh my god, I hit the wrong card. Aria right, Flame was perfect. That was everything we wanted in life. I thought we were scrying. I was trying to scry the first card at the bottom. That's a huge tilt. That is what they call a huge tilt. Yeah. Okay. Playing magic on the internet. Here we go. Finale of Promise, Magmatic Sinkhole. I mean, Promise is just like three mana draw two cards. It's a divination. Oh boy, that really sucks. That is a really large charm of I mean, I have Metamorphos, and I guess we keep this. Alright, you're up. You're up. You're up. Just bring the first ones. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. All right, this is just gross. It's okay. Who said it wasn't okay? <laughs> it's got another tower glyph? God, their last card hand must be insane. All right. Um. That's not bad, right? And I put it there. Oh well, I missed that part. Because there's like a delay mm -hmm. between me doing... Definitely a delay. <laughs> Alright, so... Hi, chat. So we're going to... Uh, Hi, chat. Cast this. Right. We're going to see our missions first. And 
and try and find a way out of this mess. Looting, I mean, looting's terrible. Thought Scour is terrible. The Phoenix is in our deck. I'm not really sure what we're drawing to here, unfortunately. That Aria of Flamin would have made, made this game really interesting. But, uh, was not to be, apparently. And then it looks like we're bringing it, we're bringing it, we're bringing Blood Moon in. They, uh, obviously haven't been respecting Blood Moon at all, so. Like, I don't even know what our, our good draws here are. Like, Once Phoenixes are no longer in our deck, our lootings are just really bad. Um, good lord. We just like, don't have any like spells up in our deck, basically. Like, things that actually matter. <laughs> That's great. Most important one. Month number two, Bob, and welcome back, my friend. That is the most important one. It means you chose to come back, and I appreciate that. All right, let's go to the next game. They got us. Surgical extraction, scavenging ooze, all that stuff was enough. The surgical was brutal because they didn't have it the previous turn, so like. We definitely, obviously, could not play around that at all. All right, so we're going to bring in uh, the Blood Moons, try and cheese them out a little bit. It does seem like kind of a hard matchup, honestly. Like, they just have a lot of stuff. They can they have enough things to cover all of our things. They have removal for Thing in the Ice. They have graveyard stuff for Arclight Phoenix. They have, you know, Abrupt Decay and stuff for Arya Flame. They really can answer everything. So, um, we do want ways... Yeah, we can, we can save it. One of these... No, no forces. You definitely do not want force in the John matchup. It's all about having more cards if possible. And... i got to cut one more. It might just be a bolt, honestly. Like, we have two sinkholes and, a, and explosives to try and tag the, uh, the annoying creatures. I think this is fine. Also, Sahili's pretty good. We can resolve Sahili. I think we're in great shape, too. So, now we have three, like, slam dunk... Three mana plays. All right, let's go. Prismatic Vista. I'm not gonna buy if I can buy if I can buy the Vista, but um, uh, same place. I'll keep this. Yeah, you, you have force of will in, in uh, or whatever force negation in unfair matchups, where you wanna, where the resources don't matter. Just keeping a certain thing from resolving matters. Against a grindy deck, you do not want a two for one yourself. Two Seely for the dumb matchup. Seely's good. I do like Seely. Prismatic Vista. There's beauty in the uncertainty of potential. Thoughtsies. Sure. Okay. So we get our island only. That's how it works. Thought scour ourself. Hit a phoenix. They have surgical extraction to blow us out. No, that's good. Are they trying to draw step it? No, okay, that's good too. Um, hmm. I think we just thought scour, and then go from there. Start here. Finale of Promise Ops. That's pretty good, honestly. Alright, just ship here.
Next ranking finale for two spells, which is pretty great. Dark Confidant. Wow, this is turning out phenomenal for us. Um, we are going to... I should just get a mountain, I think. Bolchia. That's awkward. Um, so we're going to cast Finale and cast two. I guess we could just draw land off these cantrips, theoretically, and then just looting anyway. All right, yeah, let's just, we're obviously casting this, so. Let's get, I don't have a sorcery. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's gross. And all those cards being a sorcery, that's really bad. All right, looting it is, I guess. Well, better lucky than good, I guess. Um, this is kind of gross. Because, like... There's no way they're sandbagging a, a surgical. Because they would have just taken the opportunity to, to get the card out of our hand, too. So... Obviously, just going Phoenix. Question is, we want to keep Sinkhole or Finale? I think we want to keep Finale. And then we see our missions first, then looting. Draw land. Uh, bottom, bottom. Looting. They have surgical again. I couldn't see not doing it earlier on. All right, move to combat. Like, just take the card in my hand. Like, it... Like... That doesn't make sense. You should, like, take the card in my hand so my lootings are worse, you know? Obviously, it informs our decisions, but, like... Alright, whatever. Like, draw stabbing it... Not draw stabbing not draw, not draw it makes... Doesn't make much sense. Like, obviously, it's a little unfortunate because we, we, we had to burn lootings to get it back instead of burning actual cantrips. But, alright, let's just keep playing, I guess. We have a Serum Visions now, so we can uh, opt and Serum Visions. So we, Serum Visions, opt. Um, we're in pretty big pretty, pretty, pretty trouble now. They just have four spells in their hand. I'm going to bottom this. We can, we'll find more lands. Let's see. Love you. I'll see you tonight for tacos. Tacos? Tacos. Tacos? Would you prefer lasagna? Yeah, I prefer lasagna. All right, fine. I'll see you tonight for lasagna. Sweet. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, that's... All right, this is fine. Lasagna's dope. Thing in the ice? That's fine. I'll be both these cards, honestly. Tacos are medium. Quesadilla is much better than tacos. Ah, crap. They just have all spells in their hand, which sucks pretty bad. Tarmogoyf, sure. Alright, let's play Crackling Drake here. And hope they can't kill it, I guess. Other options are what? Other options are just to cast Thing in the Ice. And then uh, play two cantrips. But if they have like a Fatal Push, it's pretty bad for us. They've had no opportunity to use that yet. Yeah, I'll just play Crackling Drake. Take two for one. A little light on ways to beat a uh, a four five Tarmogoyf, but.
Quesadillas, better than tacos. Deal with it. Where are my glasses? Oh, crap. I lost my glasses. Okay. Could be worse, I guess. Oh, that's really good. So you're telling me there's a chance. Um... Yeah, that's pretty great, honestly. So now I want to I want to save these for the thing in the ice, but this is obviously better for now. So let's let's go ourselves. And another looting, sure. And then we'll see our missions. That's not very good. They fetch basics this game. Why not last game and why this game? <clears throat> Fiery Islet. I mean, if they have Liliana, I mean, I just want to hold this. I'm just going to hold this. I have lootings too. Um, Sunny, I'm not sure about. Wish Tron versus not Wish Tron. I kind of prefer the old Tron decks, but I haven't played with the new Karn enough to really get a feel for that, but we're playing that later, so we'll give it a whirl, see how it feels. Why would I want to mill the Scry cards? There are no more Phoenixes in our deck. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they saw Blood enough Surgical, sure. That's fair. Alright, I mean, second Tarmac is pretty bad for us. We do, have, we do have an Explosives in our deck. Only like 24 cards left, so... That would be nice. Sleight of Hand? Sure. There she is! Uh, I'll take that Explosives, please. Do I want to cast this Metamorphose first? Just make some more tokens. Why not? Yeah, see, at least it's really good. Veil of Summer does not seem like a good Tron cyborg card. Your green card's got to be really impactful. Lightning Bizolt. Go, go. Go, Sahili, go, go. Go, Sahili, go, go. Go, Sahili, go. I we had two of these. Oh, yeah, Sahili. Take it down for us. Take it down. Yeah, Sahili's great this matchup. Yeah, I definitely don't like New Karn in Tron. I'd like prefer the deck to be more streamlined, but one and up. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're prepping for Mythic Championship Barcelona. I leave in less than a week. Um, I'll also be playing in Philly this weekend. So, yeah, pretty busy. Pretty busy. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow for Philly. Uh, we're doing a BCW Challenge event. Information is on the uh, Twitter sphere. I'm teamed with Ross Merriam and Tan and Grace. And uh, I am playing modern. What am I playing? I don't know. Stop asking. <laughs> I've always liked mono green Tron better than Eldrazi Tron. I hate Eldrazi Tron. I think that deck is just like just really dumb and almost fundamentally flawed from a deck building sense. It's obviously not a bad deck, but it's like a bad deck, if you will. Uh, crap. Mulligan. This is better. This is better. Um, I'm gonna keep this. Shift the vista. Of course, I'm more than happy to say hi and sign stuff at Philadelphia. Tan is playing Legacy. Ross is playing Standard. Just the usual. Nothing too. Nothing too crazy. Um, it's kind of 
of interesting is we don't actually, I guess we want like a looting for Phoenix. Um, I think I like Serum Vision. Eh. No, I think Pyromancer Ascension sucks. Right, I'll just cast this slight hand. Another Arclight Phoenix and a, or a Spire Bluff Canal. It's an Arclight Phoenix. What's is, what's is, what's power up here? I think passing on Phoenixes is usually a bad idea. Once you find that looting, it's just so good. I mean, we don't need a third land. Stamping ground. Faith is looting. We're playing Dredge later also. Stink medium life from Lum. Certainly makes our uh, our flame slash worse. All right, Sierra missions, we need some help. Gut shot. That is not. That's that's not help. That's not help at all. I think we're in trouble. Blister burn is much better than Monoroid Phoenix. I think Monoroid Phoenix is terrible. I think the Phoenix is just really really bad. Dredge. Alright, so they threw, their dredges weren't super kind to them, which is good for us. Modern seems fine. I don't know. I haven't played a ton of modern post uh, Bridge from Below ban. So, like, it's still a pretty fresh format. Alright, so they have two Blood Ghasts. Why are you still here? Sweet. Looting. 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 Maybe if I just keep saying it, I'll draw it. No. I think we need just need to like cast this though. And try and get lucky and hit a looting. Or some cantrips or something. Like we're we're pretty behind here. They have conflagrate, they have they have Forgotten Cave and Life Malone, they have Blood Ghasts and Yeah, let's just do this thing, I guess. So you're telling me there's a chance. Discard Phoenix, Phoenix, fetch, mountain. So far we've cast Metamorphose, looting. Do we cast another looting or do we kill one of these blood gas? And killing blood gas is actually completely irrelevant. So loot me up. Whoop. That's pretty gross. Alright, well, can't complain too much, right? We're probably still going to lose this game, honestly, but at least we feel like we're playing now. Loot me up before you go, go. Dredge Think Weed Imp didn't hit much. Their dredges have been not great, but they do have Loam and Conflagrate, so. We're on a two turn clock, and they don't really know that because we have this gut shot in our hand, just chilling. Just chilling out, max and relaxing gut shot. Conflagrate to kill my phoenixes. Sure. Sounds good to me. 
That discarded uh, a lot of dredgers, but honestly, we're in pretty good shape here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna flash back looting. We can gut shot as needed, um, and they can't do much next turn. So, what if I land first? Let's see if we draw. It's one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so we'll discard Island Flame Slash. We'll Flame Slash a Bloodgast. And they're at 13, we're about to attack. I guess they hit, they, they, they hit Creeping Chill, they hit Creeping Chill. I guess we can't really do anything with that. I'm actually gonna shoot one of their blood guests rather than shoot them. It's this this Gutshot can shoot them, so. That's our third spell. Guess who's back? Back again. Arc Light's back. With a friend. Well, the Bloodgast have haste, but like, if they, so they dredge Stinkweed Imp, and now what? I guess they can just like play the Imp. Maybe I should have kept the Flame Slash. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, maybe I should have shot them and kept Flame Slash. Hmm. No, they're gonna looting. All right. They're just going for a big dredge here, try and hit some uh, some creeping chills. Well, they hit Narc Amoeba. That's bad. So now we need another gut shot to kill them. No chills though. There's always that. Hello. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. Never didn't have it, you know? Oh yeah, it's easy. Alright, so um let's see here. We gotta board some cards. We're gonna board in. What? Obviously Ravenous Trap. And I think Anger of the Gods is also on the menu. Um What are we not interested in? I think Arya Flame is a little off the menu, a little too slow. Um obviously our flame slashes and bolts are pretty bad. Gutshot does facilitate faster Phoenix draws. Um, am I interested in force negation to stop like cathartic union and stuff? Am I interested in spell pierce? I think magmatic sinkhole has to go too. The problem is by bringing in all these reactive cards, we slow down our ability to make fast phoenixes, which is bad. Um, because our goal is to phoenix them and kill them, although it makes Thing in the Ice better. So, we might be looking at something like this. Um, SNG! Five month reset, welcome back. So, I mean, I guess we are also... Thing in the Ice is really good against them. So, we can lean on it a little bit better. Uh, we're back to playing Gutshot main over Surgical because Gutshot's better in more matchups. Um... This seems very reasonable to me. Narset Dredge. Okay, so basically, if your opponent dredges instead of drawing for their first draw, a dredge doesn't count as a draw, but you can't dredge if you've already drawn a card. So you can dredge 50, 15 cards in one turn with a Narset in play. But if you drew a card, then you can no longer dredge because you can't draw to replace. But the replacement means you haven't actually drawn, so you don't fulfill the condition on Narset. But if you've already drawn, then you can't draw, therefore you can't dredge. It's weird, I know. It's a weird interaction. Alright, this is what we're going to do. We'll try this. Of course, turtle power. It's what I'm here for. All right? I love y'all. I'm playing Dredge, and I'm playing Tron today also. So we are playing... Oh, boy. We're playing this uh, Phoenix deck, and then we're playing Dredge, and then we're playing Tron. Well, this hand's pretty good. 
And good looking turtle power. And good looking. Nothing. Just saying go. Oh my god, we are really we're really cranking up on the sideboard cards here. Um Don't forget modest. Sure. True. I'm supposed to buy Steam Vents here. So there you go. I am uh, Eduardo, am I saying that right? Uh, from Venezuela. I live in Madrid. Playing Magic since... Oh, Villaboy, new sub. I missed it, I'm sorry. Uh, been from Venezuela, but live in Madrid. Been playing Magic since Odyssey. Favorite card, 3-Minute Spectre. Favorite deck, Coco, Humans, and Standard. Awesome. Eduardo, thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. So they're not doing anything. This feels like a lightning axe to me. Um, so you may be interested in just not casting Thing in the Ice, but I guess we can't stop a lightning axe anyway. I think we just say go. Like, they kept seven? Six? Seven? They kept seven here. So they chose to keep seven cards, and they haven't made a play on one or two, so... Sweet. Y'all see you in Barcelona, my friend. Cast Stinkweed Imp. Go, they say. I should have scoured first, but whatever. Looting, scour, force negation. Okay. Dio. New sub. Tier 2 sub. Dio, what's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. Thank you so much for the sub. Tier 2 sub is something fierce. I respect that and appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay. Thanks, Jarvis. Jarvis, you know anyone who's looking for a, a room or looking to build a room or has room in their room? Because I don't have, I don't have a place to stay yet. And uh, I should probably figure that out. Face to face, guys. I'm, I'm working with them, but their their Airbnb is full. Um, I guess we just thing here. She so lose the ability to force by doing that, but like, whatever. We have double ravenous trap. If they have a lightning axe, they have a lightning axe. I have no idea what I'm playing in Barcelona. No idea. Lighting Axe discarding Leyline of Sanctity? Uh, okay. Sure. I guess. Cycle Forgotten Gave. Uh, okay. I boarded out my Arias. Ren and Six is very good. Amalgam Hogak. Looting. They have two cards left in their hand. Alright, I think I'm going to bolt this Stinkweed in and just cast Ravenous Trap. Okay, your turn, I guess. It's a trap. It's too too obvious. Too obvious. Yeah, it's too obvious. Hmm. I mean, blast zone's like a little annoying, I guess. They can like kill my thing in the ice with that, but I mean, whatever. There's no reason to cast looting right now. We have hard cast force negation up. We're not going to rush to do anything. Like, yeah, nice cathartic reunion. Lol. Discarding two lands. Yeah. You got it. Alright, 
Now we're looting. Blood Scour, looting, sure, discard Phoenix, and probably just Bolt, honestly. Shit, I think it's just discard, discard a looting. Yeah. Here is something you can't understand. Oh, I could just kill a germ. Yeah, let's guard the Bolt. Oh god, not stink we didn't. Anything but stink we didn't. So hmm. Our opponent like isn't doing anything. And it's kind of annoying because we just have all these reactive cards. If I put a Phoenix in play, it makes my anger bad, and they can just block what Stink Weed have. Now that now they have a card in their graveyard. Um, I think I kind of once again don't want to do anything. I could also just burn this anger and just get rid of this arc, get rid of this stupid Stink Weed. Imp. I could also just wait too and just do nothing. That's also fine. I have to do nothing. Doing nothing is awesome. I love doing nothing. It's like my favorite. My favorite thing to do in a game, Magic, is just do nothing. Warren Instigator is a terrible magic card. The floor on that card is so low, it is on the other side of the planet. And they're in their upkeep. Thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Perhaps today is a good day to die. They draw a card. Maybe they're thinking about axing their own stink beat. They're not going to attack. We're not going to attack. I have my orders from the Emperor himself. He has something special planned. Cabal Therapist just top just 5 out a league in the hands of one Steve Rubin. This feels lame, but whatever. Suck it, nerd. Shriek Horn. Sure. This puts two cards in the graveyard. Lightning Axe Mountain. Sure. Alright. And now we are going to return our Arclight Phoenix and start pecking away. Um, we are going to start by playing our Cantrips. We don't really need to play Metamorphose, but I think we are going to. Um, let me play land. Maybe I should have gone blue blue. Alright, let's just start with the Thought Scour. Another Arc Light Phoenix? How lucky. Um let's slide and Thing in the Ice Finale I Promise. Both those cards are good. Um I've now cast three spells and I can cast Thing in the Ice too. They have Blast Zone, but that's fine. Finale is good. But, yeah, let's take this. So I've cast Metamorphose, Thought Scour, and Slight of Man. Take the freaking thing in the ice. Oh, they, they scooped. They scooped. We win. Good day, sir. Yeah, Phoenix is pretty great. I like Phoenix. 2 0. Let's roll. One reminder to check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for all your game shopping needs, card games, board games, miniatures. Supplies. It's all on there. Coolstuffinc.com as well as my articles. Check it out. My video. It's on, site. on the next page. My video. Modern Vile Goblins. Y'all want to see it. Well, there it is. All right. Check it out. Coolstuffinc.com. I do a video Monday, article Friday. Uh, this Friday's article will be all about examining Core Set 2020 and Modern Horizons for good cube cards. That's right. A little cube action. 
Goblin Ringleader is a nice card. Very nice. Um, this hand is okay. It's not great, but we're going to keep it. Um, what infect is better? I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, is Goblin's a possibility for me at the Pro Tour? Anything's a possibility. Anything is possible. More practice to do. Not enough time to do it in. Nicole and I are literally in the middle of trying to buy a house. So timing here is not great. But... So pretty cool yesterday, um, first off, follow me on Twitter, and you would have seen this already. Go follow me on Twitter, at, follow me on Twitter, at JimDavisMTG. Um, we had a new sub I missed, I'll get that new sub too. We uh, helped my, my buddy Brian, who's from Teach Me Human, the band I used to be in, record a music video, and John was the star. Brian wanted a kid in the video doing crazy stuff, and um, the motif of the video is that the, the kid in the video falls asleep in his bed, wakes up in this weird dream world and goes through all this crazy adventures and stuff and then ends up waking up out in the grass again and back to his mom and Nicole's the mom in the video. Pretty cool. So took some new headshots also and some new photos for emotes as well, but really fun. Really cool stuff. Alright, so I'll play tap lands I go. And we got a new sub. Our new tier two sub is Joshua. Um, from Texas. Um, crap. Now Maryland just outside of DC, playing since 97. Favorite card is Nabin, Dean of Iteration. Favorite deck of all time, Dredge. And uh, copy name, Tom Collins, sweet. Heh, <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Thanks sub, my friend, I appreciate it. Tier two sub is something fierce. I respect that. Um, this is probably bad for us. I guess our thing in the ice is gonna be our ace in the hole probably, but all right, we're gonna just get an island to play thing in the ice. Prismatic Vista. Should probably Snowlands in this deck. Yeah, subs are great though. I appreciate all my subs. Thank you so much. Don't forget, folks, it's my full-time gig. It's what I do for a living. I stream here on Twitch. Make content for CoolStuffInc.com. Make videos on YouTube. Travel to tournaments and more. And your support makes that possible. That's a good draw. Only five bucks a month. That's right. Only five dollars a month. It's a cup of coffee. You can support me and uh, what I do. So thank you so much. All new subs get access to my private Discord chat server, all my emotes, access to my VODs on demand, free games like uh, Survivor Football and stuff like that with free prizes. Um, private Discord, I said that. Uh, yeah, it's great. Our Discord's awesome too. Great, great community. Devin, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Twitch Prime sub. Don't forget, Twitch Prime free subs. Uh, it takes about an hour or two for the Discord integration to go in. So give it give it a little time. Alright, let's see our missions. Hoping I have this member here. That's uh, not a good zero missions. Real basic. Alright, I mean... We could flip Thing here, honestly. We could just bolt them and gut shot them and then flame slash our Thing and it's Act for 7. They might actually be on the on the docket here, honestly. Like, if they have dismember, we're we're gone, we're dead. But and then we have finale for bolt and flame slash next turn too. I think I'm kind of in on this. I don't know if they can beat a flipped thing this early. So let's do it. I'm going for it. Screw it. Upstairs. All in. My chips are in the middle. Flame slash my own thing in the ice. Don't you dare. Thank you, God. Yes, Aria Flame is very, very good. And this is why this deck is good. Because it's a fair deck, but you can do stuff like this when you have to. So you have the ability to 
do some busted things, but still play a fair game too. Like blue eye control can't do this. So they have a smasher, or something. If they have thought not seer, great, whatever. I mean, they get our last card, but they're just gonna be at two. You know, so. Well, I mean, that kind of sucks. Like, literally any spell will be good there, but... Alright, they are going to two against my Lightning Bolt Arclight Phoenix deck. Um, have I scried it all? Let's play this. That's... No, whatever. Two Aria Flame. Expedition Point deck. For your deck needs. End Bringer. The end is here. So, they need to chump block with one of these next turn. That's cool. Any spell? That's a spell. Oops. I didn't mean to make two blue. I don't know how they made two blue like that. I didn't even click the things. But whatever. Looting opt island. Bottom island. Top opt. Looting. Magmatic sinkhole. Hello. Oh, I can't cast it though. That's gross. Um, hmm. That's annoying because I would have floated red off my mana. I don't know why mana morphos just like made two blue immediately. I didn't click the things. Okay. Um, interesting. Very, very interesting. What do we want to do here? Welcome aboard. Maybe we just cast this. I mean, opting doesn't even... What, what, what are we opting for? We can't cast any spells. You want to cast the blue spell? So, we'll keep the sinkhole. All right, whatever. This is fine. We'll lose our blue mana. Let's attack. Force chump block. Either block is good for us, so sure. Double block? Well, I guess it's bad for us. I mean, we just draw a card, I guess, but... Sinkhole kills. Yeah, let's kill the let's kill the Embringer. Three. Yeah. Okay. This is all this is all fun. And your turn. I should have waited, maybe. Maybe I should have attacked. Nah, because they have the Endbringer. Yeah, yeah, I think attacking is great. So three bolts in our deck, we have four Arclight Phoenixes in our deck. We have a, a sinkhole here to kill this and draw another card. We're good. Life is good. Would I consider playing a Skelemental deck? Yeah, I'll play that after I get home from the Pro Tour. PC is back there in its box. I don't have time to open it. Philadelphia in the Pro Tour. Because I don't have time, folks. Chalice on one. I mean, that complicates things, but... Uh, one, two, three... Draw Arclight Phoenix. That's annoying if they thought on me again, but. Yes. Trying to buy a house, set up a new stream, prep for a pro tour, prep for an open, and stream produce content all at the same time is is it's very difficult. I'm working on it. It's working. You know, it's gone. But time is a uh, Time is a luxury I don't often have. What is this? This is going to be like a Ballista or something? I guess the Ballista saves them from Arcade Phoenix. Alright, that's cute, I guess. Gross. Um, I mean, we can just get him next turn with it, so... Yep, so we can like play spells and get it back next turn possibly. We can also slip this thing in the ice too. I only have two cards left. That's pretty gross. Man, I really hate Eldrazi Tron. With a burning passion. Alright, now I don't know. I guess we can Arya flame them. 
But they can just get Microsynth Lattice next turn. This is so stupid. How do we lose this game? We, 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 like, we chuck this game. I screw up. Like... Yeah, I think Karn's. I think Karn, this, this card's a terrible design. I think this card's just so so badly designed. Well, the blue blue. Okay, the blue blue thing was not my fault. I don't know what happened there. It just made two blue. So they have a chalice in play, folks. Yes, it's, we can still thing in the ice, but they have a Rensaring Bridge also. So, um. Yeah, that's frustrating. See, so yeah, if I, if I just if the, if the mana morphos just went off properly, I'm not really sure why it did what it did, but it did what it did. So, if I had uh, any patience at all, I would submit a bug report, but I don't really care that much. So, I don't think we are uh, drawing to anything here. So, finale can't cast the cards anyway. So. Alright, you know, whatever. It's your... I guess I'll just cast this. Remember to counter on my thing in the ice. Not that it matters, but... I mean, they're, they're, they're just going to get micro and Lattice and kill us, so... Finale cast the cards. Hence why it works with Arc Light Phoenix. Well, that was a really lame game. Uh, so we lost to Magic Online, adding to Blue for some reason, instead of the mana I wanted to add, I guess because I was like clicking the mana to pay for it down uh, in this section over here. Um, I don't know why that would select mana otherwise, but usually you have to go up here into this area to select the mana, and I didn't even get there, so pretty frustrating. That's okay. Which makes things a little harder for us. NBD. Um... We're going to bring in Sinkhole, Explosives, a Braid, Sahili. I don't know if I'll have Blood Moon against them, honestly. Me and Ross have been back and forth on this. Um, I do want to cut down on the one, one mana spells. Uh, Gut Shot's bad. I think Lightning Bolt is bad. Um... We only have two answers to Chalice, which is kind of lame, honestly. Um, I like, I kind of like Force Negation a little bit in this matchup. I know Ross wasn't like super keen on it, but I guess on the play, it's not as necessary. But it can, it can answer, answer Chalice, answers Karn. Like the the Chalice is just so important that it's worth throwing my two cards for it. Our blue count's a little... A little uh, um, I think it's Blood Moon on the play is okay. Right, let's try this, I guess. And maybe on the draw, we'll see if we want the, um, the forces. But yeah, pretty annoying. I really don't know what happened with that, uh, with that Manamorphos. Flame Slash, Flame Slash, Aria Flame, Sleight of Hand. I could buy this. Sure. Nice mulligan. I'll take it. Uh, no, I did it again. That's me. That was on me. I was trying to scry again. I was trying to scry out to the bottom and take the other card. That's on me. That one's on me. I take full responsibility for that. It's me. My bad. Oops. Embarrassing match here. Everyone make fun of me. Oh, there's Shadows of the Void. Oh, well, here's Crackling Drake and Aria Flame.
in your life. Anything but Mind Stone. Chalice again, you got it. If only I, uh. Nope. If only I, uh, had a way to make use of the spells in my hand that don't do anything. That's probably redundant. Here is something you can't understand. Chalice on two. Chalice the Voyage is like a super lame card. So this is four spells. Does playing this like an Aria do anything? Um, just like they gain the life. This is too much math for me. So just like the they die in one less spell. I'm just gonna blindly trust chat. Sonic, I believe you. We're casting it. Kill my own thing. My mouse is freaking out. Take three. Alright. Karn the Great Creator. Lame. Uh, Dio, check out my article. I wrote a complete guide on Dredge probably like a year or two ago. It's a little out of date, but the sideboarding principles are there. You can just Google Google search Jim Davis complete Dredge guide. Witchbane orb? Well, that's hell lame. Um, Alright. I guess I can... Right now we're doing like three, right? So we'll kill the... Kill the Karn. Kill you. Sweet. Kill this. Kill you. So we're taking 10 here. They go to, all right, they're dead on board. So they play Witchbane, wait, Witchbane Orb, they just die because we just attack them. And if they don't play the Orb, we just play a spell and kill them. So. Nice chalice of the void opponent. Rude, rude opponent. Alright, I want these force negations uh, on the draw. I, uh. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh. I don't want Blood Moon. Blood Moon sucks. Screw Blood Moon. Uh. Yeah. Submit. No spell pierce. We're too proactive for spell beers. Blood Moon just seems bad. Like, they can still cast their spells, you know? Oh, come on. Alright. Mulligan. This hand is quite good, but I don't know what I want to put back. And I am almost not happy about this force negation. I think it might be the land. We're on the draw. We have a looting and a serum visions. And if we put back the Drake, and we have to use we have to use Serum Visions for our Force Negation card, I think the options are Spire Bluff Canal or Force Negation as the cards to put back. And I think it's just a land. We'll find our second land with the Cantrips. We can use Drake for the Force Negation. We have a good Arclight Phoenix draw. If they have Leyline again, that would be annoying. Um, but that makes a lot of our hand bad anyway. 
but also makes their hand bad too because they're just on the play with a mulligan basically. I'm gonna, I'm gonna already lend. All right. Okay. So, it's Serum Visions, two non lens. All right. Um, hmm. That's a natural Tronus. God, I hate this deck so much. Okay. Well, there's a second land. Um. Hmm. Our looting is certainly not great, and I also kind of want to keep this crackling Drake now. It seems kind of important. Um. I guess we'll just cast the looting and just get rid of our Phoenix. It's kind of bad, but this card's already pretty dead anyway, so. We do want lands. Um, they didn't play Chalice, so the explosive seems kind of worthless. Let's just ship that. And then, do I even want to shock and cast Metamorphose? Just keep it for Force Negation? I guess we'll give ourselves the option. No natural Tron. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, inconceivable. I guess we opt. You guys hard cast the force finale. That's going in the bottom. Flame slash. Aria of Flame. Well, that plays for me. Let's just light him up here. You can have your 10 life. Stick it. Sure. So they have to take Flame Slash here, um, and then we just have a pretty decent end. So they should have no way to deal with Arya except for like all his dust or small Ugin stuff like that. Magmatic Sinkhole is much better than Lightning Axe. It worked this time. Blue, red. Thing in the ice. Huh. I mean, Thing plays. Crackling Drake plays too, though. Yeah, it's Crackling Drake. Certainly higher upside. Flame Slash is dope. Force Negation is very, very good. So now we have like Karn covered, or like Chalice covered, and then uh, it's untap, Flame Slash this, attack them for a bajillion. I like this card a lot. I'm a big, big Crackling Drake fan. I know it's fallen out of favor a little bit, but. All right, so they're, they're trying to say that they have a walking ballista. And frankly, I think I'm okay with that. We block, we're taking seven here. Seven's a lot. If we block, they waste their mana on Ballista. We untap, we flame, we play Thing in the Ice, Flame Slash the Thought Not Seer, draw another card. And now the board is a 1-1 Ballista versus Thing in the Ice and them at 27 with an Aria of Flame in play. I guess they get the card off Matter of Shaper too, though. It's also possible this is just a Matter of Shaper attack and they don't actually have Ballista too. Hmm. I mean, otherwise, we're just taking this damage. We're like, eh, maybe we just we just let it, let it, let it stand. We might just kill them in two turns. If we block if we block Burst Shaper, they get the last Urza piece one hundred percent. Yeah, that's true. Also, you know what? This is fine. Thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed, hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. 
Mythic Championship Barcelona practice. Talk about practice. Practice? Not a game. Flame Slash. Upstairs. Oh, I should put the thing there first. Oops. I got really excited. Um, maybe we... Yeah, that was really dumb. Don't want to keep this Force Negation up, though. Like, maybe we... I guess we're dead to a Reality Smasher. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, she just blocked. Like, they have three spells in their hand, and they chose to cast Mindstone this turn over all other things. So I think they're very likely to have a Smasher. Um, fortunately... We're attacking. It does suck a little bit, this Force Negation. We just need a proactive spell to cast. Oh my god. We play this match really badly. If we just attack first, they just do this. We just counter it. Oh my god, I'm so bad. All right. Pretty frustrating. All right. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's okay. Certainly not ideal, but we're alive for the moment, barring another Smasher. Ugh, they had the Ballista too. All right, I mean, obviously we win the Manamorphos game if things get clicked properly, or I don't even know, it wasn't even me, like it, it just did it. So this game, what, what, what the hell do we do this game? I mean, if we just don't, we just we just force and we just force the dismember and they just lose. Yeah, I'm just I'm just stains. All right, whatever. We, we, punt, we just punted this game. Whatever. All right, two and one. Show show on that match like three times over, but that's fine. Keep it rolling. Gross. Gross. Force dismember and they attack for eight with Smasher. That's true. Yeah. Sure. Maybe their hand was just too good. What? Failed. Failed. But we should we should we should have won the game one, but the the magic online bug screwed us on the mana I don't know why it just added two blue mana. But what you gonna do? Could have also blocked that matter shaper a million turns ago. Um, don't know if that really helps us though. It's definitely not a great matchup for this deck, but we probably should have won. I demand to speak to a manager. Demand. Yes, yeah, plays. I don't think we're gonna do anything on turn one, but it plays. Wind swept heath. Forest. 
Arbor Elf. We are playing some modern, folks. No, I think Gutshot's better right now. I should say Ross thinks Gutshot's better, so I'm playing Ross's deck. Alright, I mean, light him up. It's a Ponza deck? What is this? Alright. Alright. I mean, Arya Flame deals with this Chandra well. Oh, we gotta do stuff first, though. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so... Our ledge casting cards start casting spells, but the Chandra will just kill it. But Arya can kill the Chandra, which is cool, so... I guess we are... Yeah, we're starting on Metamorphose. We can't, we can't guess thing. We draw a land of Metamorphose, we can also um, finale back the Flame Slash and the Metamorphose, kill this Arbor Elf, and play some more spells and stuff. So let's start with Metamorphose. And this is on five, so one, two, three. The first one can go to them. Blue, red. Another looting? Okay. Looting is not really great here. But I guess we're casting it, so, alright. Don't want a visions first and try and hit a. Yeah, I do. I definitely do. Cody, resub. One year! Damn. One year. Show some love, Cody. Hello. Hello. Oh. Alleluia. 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 Say what? Oh no, not Blood Moon. Anything but Blood Moon. What will I ever do? They played a Blood Moon. Uh, they're just like super dead, right? Yeah. That uh, and that. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Yes, thank you for the untapped mountain. Appreciate that. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Alright, so some sort of weird Renin 6 mid rangey red green blood moon deck. Um, okay. I don't. I mean, I guess you want a sinkhole. I guess maybe Sahili. Uh, definitely want Gutshot. Maybe we don't want Flame Slash. I don't know what their threats are, but Flame Slash seems kind of a braid for Trinisphere. I mean, I I guess. Eloquent! New sub, what's your name, where you're from? Welcome, my friend. I mean, Crockley and Drake's getting its graveyard hate. I guess they have Chandra to kill it. Chandra's pretty good against us. Is it possible we want Force? Hmm. 
Like, what are we even forcing? Like a planeswalker, I guess? Or like a... Like we don't care about Blood Moon, really. We're forcing like a planeswalker or like a Trinisphere or something. Hmm. Huh. I don't want spell beers. They have a lot of mana in their deck too, so let's cut a finale in case they have some graveyard shenanigans, the graveyard eighty stuff. And I don't think I want this upgrade. Let's try this. Honestly not sure. This is certainly a hand of Magic the Gathering cards. Um, we're going to keep. And we're going to hope they don't have a Surgical Extraction. New sub is Evan from the Pacific Northwest. Favorite card is Coarse Skyfisher. Favorite deck, Modern Burn. Back when you didn't lose very much. Sweet. Evan, thanks for subbing, my friend. I appreciate it. Oh, all right. Well, let's draw a double gut shot off this looting. Thing in the ice, lightning bolt. Mm. Don't surgical me, friend. Sure. Ren and Stimpy. You can get that land back. You got it. You are you're in, my friend. You're in. Sure. Hmm. I guess we're just Metamorphose looting bolt. Um, blue, red? No, I'm sorry, red, red. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's close. What the hell? I didn't hit the blue. Is Metamorphos bugged? Like, serious, serious questions. Is Metamorphos bugged? I didn't hit the blue. I moused over it for a second. What is going on? This is extremely frustrating. I don't have a blue from tapping lands. I cast Metamorphose. I didn't click anything. Well, this is really bad. Like, there was a blue in your mana pool while Metamorphos was resolving. Not saying you clicked it, but while resolving, you could see the blue in the pool. All right. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're dropping open draw a blue card. All right, well, I'm best, better lucky than good, I guess. That sucks is I want I wanted to cast both this turn. Like bad. You know? When I clicked the blue to pay for Metamorphose a bunch of times, it computed oh, that's that, that's what happened last time, I think. Because I was clicking the mana to play the blue, and it just like rolled over into my, my Metamorphose selection. God, that's so frustrating.
Let's go to the videotape. You're right, there's a blue just hanging out there. No, I'm sorry, red, red. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's close. Blue, red? No, I'm sorry, red, red. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's so I think what happens is, I think it registered when you click over here to play to pay mana for the spell, I think it registers your click. Like it it like lags the click. And it it lags that from picking the color to pay the cost to picking the color from Metamorphose. Even if a dialogue isn't down here, it's up over here. That must be what it is. So I'll just have to, I'll just have to click really, really slowly in the future, I guess. Alright. That is pretty lame. Thankfully, we're probably still going to win this game, but... Alright, I mean, Ren and Snippy's dead. They can only cast one spell a turn. I have two Arc Lights in play. Sure. Spell first? Yeah, I guess that's fair. We'll just spell first with Anamorphos. Uh, interesting. I don't think we are yet, because we can't play more than one spell, basically. I think we just thing in the ice. We'll just kill. I mean, we, is Red and Six really matter at this point? I don't think so. Just put them on a two-turn. Yeah, just attack them. If they want to keep fetching and losing life, I guess it's fine, right? Sure. Sure. You got it. Um. Yeah, I guess we just stack them again. Like, they could play something. They have a lot of mana now. Like, he has, like, Inferno Titan or something. But, like, they have the mana anyway, I guess. I guess Manamorphosing is basically free. Well, can I Manamorphose? Can I, can I cast three spells Manamorphose? Is it... We, we lose one mana in the exchange. I can next turn, right? Next turn I can Manamorphose, Flashback Looting, Flashback Looting with, with six mana. No, we're one short on that. So we need to spend nine. We only have seven. Yes, yeah, so we're two turns away from Manamorphos being able to return a Phoenix. Um, but we can draw like a yeah, like a lightning bolt or something. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. So our seventh land would allow us to bring back both Phoenixes. Hmm. So do we play for seven lands, or do we attack Chandra? Do we look for a bolt of Metamorphose? I think I like keeping the Metamorphose. Um, so let's flashback a looting. Okay, so I don't even want Arya Flame. This is our last, our, our seventh land. I think we're gonna keep the, the land. We have two more basics. We're gonna attack them. Let's put lethal. We'll, we'll put lethal in play. This also turns off the ability of Ren and Six to get more lands for them. If they cast something huge, we at least have more outs too. So So we can draw like any bolt, any gut shot, any phoenix, um, any metamorphose, or in two car or if, yeah, or we can just do uh oh boy, that can't be good. Here it comes.
Okay. Here she is again. That doesn't seem desperate. Yeah. Three islands, two mountains. Why would I keep the Aria flame? They're at one life. Veil of Summer. That's not very good. Damn. What a broken storm turn. Okay. Um... I mean, we can cast a spell here if we draw it, so it just casts looting. Wait, can I flip thing in the ice with Metamorphose? No, because we, we, we're going we're to over this. We, we, we need seven mana to cast two spells. Yeah, so let's just um, flash back a looting, try and draw a spell. That plays. Um, so let's ship our th uh, Thought Scour... That's spell number two. Which we just get back our phoenixes next turn. Weather of a storm. We get hard cast force. Let's just hard discard the, uh, the spire bluff canal and the thought scour. Hey, blast! Want to hear a joke? Just to make sure we have that mountain. We do. And we're going to attack Chandra, so they can't minus it. Attacking them is lethal. Well, we can flip thing in the ice next turn. And we can do it with the looting, so we get our birds back. Yeah, that's good, too. Um, we're going to attack Chandra, so they can't kill thing in the ice. We can hard cast Force of Will, folks. Three, three mana counter spell. Add red, red. Okay. Car and the Great Creator. Or nah. Killing him one big attack. seems kind of cool. Like, Ponza minus the bad stone rains plus some good planeswalkers. It's reasonable. That seems cool. Sweet. So we are 3-1. and one. We should probably be 4-0, but uh, Metamorphos had other things to say about that. Let's finish stronger. I want to remind everyone to check out BCW Supplies. I've been playing BCW Supplies in every single tournament I have played in the last four years. We do a challenge event before every... Not every. We're cutting back a little bit. Challenge event before uh, before opens when we'll be at Alternate Universe in Bluebell on this Friday, tomorrow. 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come play against Ross, Dylan, myself, and Tannen for your chance to win some awesome prizes. Free to play. All players get a free pack of Elite 2 deck card sleeves. That's right. This Friday, tomorrow, 8 p.m., Alternate Universes, Bluebell, Pennsylvania. Come down, hang out. Tannen says he'll actually be there. Don't bet on that till he's actually in the room, all right? Just saying. All right. Um, yeah, that sounds fun. It is nice that this deck can, like, actually just keep all of its hands for the most part, so... Sleight of hand. Yeah. Take that Manamorphos. We'll draw a Phoenix next turn. Alright. Um, I mean, our hand is kind of like 
I wouldn't say Inquisition proof, but like, whatever. Yeah, come on down, Wargross. You have a great time. Took the looting? Sure. And we draw a Spire Bluth Canal. It's fine, I guess. Basic Swamp. We have a kind of bad hand that's gotten a lot worse. Alright, you need to take it easy, my friend. You need to chill out with your mismatched Inquisitions, alright? You also need to take three. Upstairs. Swing and a miss. I mean, I guess we're looting... We have one land to discard. <sighs> Could just wait and do nothing. If they have a Liliana, it's just pretty gross. Eh. I don't love it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Well, I'm glad we did that. I suppose. All right, we're getting jundid, I guess. Yeah, I think we're doing it. This sucks. They only have two cards left. Hopefully they're bad. Gut shot is not getting much better. Alright, no follow-up is good for us. That makes us happy. Drone decks don't play Bob anymore, they play Ren and Six. Crackling Drake. Oh, it's so bad. You got it. Olgan's command away. Is this like a perfect Jun game? Is this like exactly what they want? Four discard spells, Tarmogoyf, Olgan's command back Tarmogoyf. This is like a a perfect game for Jund. Oh god, what is that going to land for here? They have Liliana and Tarmogoyf now? Yeah, this is a perfect Jund end. This is it. This is the perfect game from Jund. Got him! Well, we both have nothing. And... Crackling Drake's just good. It's just good against all of the... The fair stuff and the good against Graveyard Hate. It's just a good card. I like it. Minus two, Liliana. Cycle Baron Moore. Aw, oh, come on. John seems hard. Here, let's draw a card, sure. I mean, cast this looting. You gonna give it to me? I'll take it. Flame Slash, Sleight of Hand. I mean, realistically, we're just discarding a card next turn. So, Sleight of Hand doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's pretty crappy.
Alright. Your turn, I guess. I mean, we just draw an Arclight Phoenix or something. We just kill this Liliana and everything's fine, you know? They had dropped their spell bomb, but. Raging Ravine. Discard your Fatal Push or. Arclight Phoenix. With great power comes great responsibility. Come on! Alright, well, we still have an Arclight Phoenix, though, in our graveyard now, at least. That's a tough one. Um, we want to use that to kill Raging Ravine, but we can't because it's a Liliana in play. Oh, no. So they discard the card in their hand. They get the Ravinas, which sucks, but Assassin's Trophy? Sure. I mean, let's just draw a cantrip there. Win this game and you'll gift 10 subs? Wow. That'd be cool. We're going to hold this for looting. We're definitely, I'd say we're like 20% to win. All right, now we're less than that. No, never mind. This is five. So we're on a two-turn clock here. Yeah, we're, we're less than that, I guess. If that Spire Bluff Canal was like a good card, we definitely had a good chance to win this game. Okay. Okay. So you're telling me... Get those 10 subs ready. Get those 10 subs ready, please. Go Colonel Fault, resell, welcome back. More Phoenixes, please. Ah! Okay. Um, now you have one card in their hand. How many Phoenixes do we leave back on defense? I have one card in hand. We attack with one. We double block the ravine. Attack with one. We attack with two, and, and it's it's a. If we attack with two, we win next turn. So they have to draw a kill spell, and it has to be a targeted kill spell. It can't be a Liliana, and it can't be fatal push because they have to revolt it also. So they're drawing kind of thin, honestly. If we attack with two, and we just kill them next turn, we give them a one turn window. If we only attack with one, and then we double block, our clock is slow. I mean, they just left two mana open. What do you, I mean, like, they already have it, they already have it, I guess, too, you know? Um... Why not all three? Because we die to the Raging Ravine in play. Let's think for a second. How many, um... We've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands accounted for. And our deck plays like 19 lands. So there aren't, there aren't, there's a lot of gas in our deck, honestly. So we're drawing to a lot of gas. Um, I think we're going to attack with one. And play it safe. I think that we can... Um, I think that we are drawing to enough spells that like... Yeah, we're attacking. We're going to play it safe.
They could have Maelstrom Pulse, sure. Okay. So here if they have the kill spell, we don't die, but we lose our phoenixes, which is okay. We could easily just draw a chain of cards, you know. I probably should have held that Spire Bluff Canal for a looting. Alright, that's fine. This is not fine. Whatever this is, is not fun. That's not good. Please don't draw looting. Maybe, 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 maybe dumb for playing that land. Please don't draw looting. Please don't draw looting. Please don't draw looting. That's one. Nope. Uh, that's two. God, it's, it's actually fine. Because now we can just uh, get the Phoenixes back. <gasps> ah! Give me those subs. I heard someone say 10 subs. Give them to me. They're mine now. Okay. Take that. It's so much easier when they don't surgical our arc lights, you know? It's so much easier. Alright, um. TRN, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Gut shots are gone. Bolts are gone, I think. What's coming in? Let's figure that part out first. It was explosives, sinkhole, Sahili. That's it, right, I guess. Blood Moon, no. On the... No. Welcome aboard. Narset, no. Yes, fun. I think it's just this, right? Trogdor, resub! I really can't see any these things. Thoughts on Dredge? We're playing Dredge later. Is Slash better than Bolt? Um, Maybe? I think so. There's the gifted subs. Locust, thanks for the gifts. All new subs, welcome. You're forced to be here, whether you like it or not. It sucks to be you. Locust, I appreciate you uh, keeping your word, my friend. That's awesome. Dan, Dan, Dan Deshup gets the uh, gets the free sub, too. All right, um, that's great. I mean, Slash kills Armaglaive easier. Um, it's also a sorcery for Finale. I think I want the two slash and the three bolts. I think I'm not sure, honestly. They're also gonna, if you recall, the first match against Jund, they tried really hard to sequence it, so they made their ooze a four four immediately to play around bolt. And if we had a slash there, we just killed it. So. On silent ninjas going crazy too. Everyone's going crazy. All right, this hand is not great, but we're gonna keep it. I hate mulling against thoughts these decks. Sneaky Bish. It's rude. A lot of haters, honestly. A lot of graveyard hate. Swinda, yes, my community is insane. I love y'all. All y'all. I mean, I guess I have Thought Scour myself. I don't want to Thought Scour them, right? So... Alright. Well, against Rest in Peace, you thought Scour them, but not against, uh... Oh, my Explosives was gone? That kind of sucks. Bottom. Bottom. Thoughts Kara still draws the goes to Drake. It's true. It's true. <laughs> and Lord Drake gifted a, gifted a sub to Locust. That's awesome. Locust, you're a new sub now. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. That's interesting. Ren and Stimpy. Sure. Sell out. 
Thing in the ice. That's definitely gonna die. We're gonna play it, but it's definitely gonna die. Bit -a -bit -a -bit -a. Thanks for following everyone. Thanks for subbing. I appreciate it. You're all great. I love you all. Rippy Dippy, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Yeah, there's a fatal bush. Take metamorphos. It's not great. Thanks for the subs, I really appreciate it. For those who don't know, again, this is my first time, this is my full-time gig, because I do for a living. I stream here on Twitch, make videos on YouTube, produce content for CoolStuffInc.com, travel to tournaments, and, uh, that's how I make, make my money. We're trying, we're trying to buy a house right now, and, uh, life's pretty good, and all thanks to you folks. So thank you so much. Y'all are great. Yeah, you. Even you. I mean, this is probably going to die too, but... Yeah. Kind of a gross game. Maybe we need to rethink our plan versus, like, Graveyard Hate. We could have, like, double bolted the Ren and Six at some point. It just felt so awful. Raging Ravine. I mean, they have two basics in play right now, so Blood Moon wouldn't do anything. This is awful. Wait. Hold on. Let's do it the right way. Cast this. Let's do it like that. Oh my god. This feels so bad. Yeah, Arya is pretty important. Um, and we just can't win. We're just dead. Whatever. Let's go to the next game. All right, that game sucked. Um, maybe we need to like reduce our reliance on the graveyard a little bit. Spindle, you're a sub now. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Alright. I want a second Saheeli, honestly. Saheeli's been really good in these matchups. Um, maybe I'll have this Narset, too. Let's bring in Narset. And let's cut a finale, I guess. Even though it's good against Discard. Just so bad against Leyline. The problem is that, like, Graveyard Hate isn't good against us. As long as Thing in the Ice is good. But they have all their removal spells for Thing in the Ice, as well as the Ley Lines for the Arc Lights. So. Oh, excuse me. I don't want Blood Moon. It's not good enough. Is it possible we want Spell Pierce in the play? I don't think so. This is fine. They have to like draw the ley line too, you know? So Arya, Flames, love Crackwing Drake. Nah, no Phantom Legends for me today. I went 1 4 last week, so I didn't get invited back for this week. I'll be back again though, don't worry. Alright, it's fine, I guess. Next up is Kellen from Kansas. Started playing in Kaladesh. Favorite card in Harry the Harbinger. Favorite deck, White Red Prison. That deck, put a heck of a spin on it with Board the Weatherlight. Sweet. That's awesome, Kellen. Thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Um, I should Thought Scour first, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to say go. I should have probably not fetched yet, but it's fine. Command the Dread Horde has gotten uh, worse than standard.
Baron Moore tapped. Wowzers. God, it's terrible. We literally just been two of our best cards in the matchup. That is, oh, it's awful. And we drew a land. God, that feels so bad. Oh, man. All right. Oh. Not cool. Not cool at all. All right. Slide a hand first. I mean, they can kill Aria Flame, you know? It's not like a lock, but I guess Flame Slash is probably worse. All right. Arclight Phoenix plays. Um, Lightning Bolt's a little less interesting, but... That artifact makes their Tarmac Wave so big, too. That sucks. Turn to bottom is Lightning Bolt. I'm going to keep the Serum Visions. All right. It's gonna be pretty gross if they um they play Arya and they just kill it, but Baron Moore mucks their mana up a lot. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I can't look. Please don't abrupt the kid. They only have like a trophy or two and a decay or two. Please don't. It's party time. Oh, that's not... That is good because we can remove our stuff. Haha. -ha. Okay. Um, yeah. Sweet. Let's do these things. Let's just do everything, basically. Um, yeah, let me hear that back. Careful. I guess it's a trigger now, so it can't, it can't resolve immediately, so it's fine. Prismatic Vista, okay. How about Serum Visions? Another sinkhole and a thing in the ice. Well, I want to cast the looting. Um, I think they have push anyway. I don't, I don't want this. All right, cast looting. Hello. Uh, okay. Discard Phoenix Vista. Things are getting wacky. Phoenix. So we gotta exile, let's see, uh, the artifact, the creature, and that's fine, then just lands. So Phoenix will come back. And they, with no fatal push, they are dead. Surgical, my phoenix. 
Sure. You got it. So, if they can kill my Aria of Flame, they can win. Otherwise, I think we're in good shape. Even if they can. Nile Spellbomb, sure. Yeah, a lot of graveyard hate. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have three bolts in our deck. Heh. Nurturing Peterland to the rescue. That was a pretty good turn, huh? Get a little hype for that turn, please. Get a little hype for that turn. So, that was pretty cool. Um, four and one, and the one loss was a moto error because I couldn't metamorphose properly. So, probably should have been a 5 0. And I think I would like to play another Sahili in the board um, for like the Jun style matchups. But all in all, Phoenix is still great. That's really it. Nothing too crazy here. Just a very solid Phoenix list. Again, this is Ross's list. Um, yeah, and watch out if you're playing Metamorphose on Magic Online because if you click to pay the mana for it and it resolves immediately, it'll roll right over into your card into your color selections. So make sure you cat click Metamorphose first, and then pay the cost. Don't tap your mana first. All right. Um, but yeah, that's Phoenix. So sweet. Well, that was easy. All right, we have more decks to play. We're playing Dredge, and we're playing Tron today. But um, we're gonna do those right now. If you're watching on YouTube, though, it's one deck per video. So YouTube folks, I love you. Subscribe on YouTube and I'll see you soon.